And they're going to know it's God. Right. Amen. I said they're going to know it's God. Amen. Just like people never met the devil, they keep on bringing them up. <laughs> they never met God, but they're going to start bringing them up. They're going to know it's him. Amen. See, the soul, the soul is not the real you. That's why you're not meditating on the word. Now, I just want to get to this point. In the imagination is where we can see the word. And let's let's go. We we well we went Genesis 6 5. God saw that every imagination of the thoughts of their heart was only evil continually. And then when you get to the tenth chapter of after the whole flood thing, when you get to the tenth chapter, when you see the Babel, Tower of Babel. Where now there that imagination is they have such a blueprint, God had to come down and, and stop it. The imagination is the conception. You can see things, and you're gonna have to do it. That's why people a lot of you know people get more time or they they, they go to jail premeditation. They had a, a gap, they could have thought better, they could have let something go. But they, they but they left. For the premeditation, I'm coming back to kill you. I'm coming back to do some damage. I'm coming back, you know what I'm saying? The premeditation. And they couldn't stop it. The propensity is so strong. <laughs> Listen, my point is, is what I want to say is that it's the neural pep what is it called? Pepnos? Yeah. It, it's fire infused. I'm gonna talk about that. This is why people have a hard time. I know because I had some issues and addictive behavior, and, 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 and it's, it goes for everything. Because when you do something, like, when you practice something, it becomes a habit, and then the habit begins to form you. You form the habit, then the habit starts forming you. It gets you to a point you have to institute that habit into your life, and it comes most of the time in inopportune time. Inopportune time with that the fire that you and it and it does it from an imagination. <clears throat> it fires and fuses the desire in the neural system to do it, and only thoughts, higher thoughts, can strip it. And you have to be consistent until it's stripped. That's why when you go into this. This mind renewing of the mind, you have to make that. If you want to be successful, every person I know that's ever been successful at this is people that makes a lifetime commitment. Amen. Amen. They don't have this world in three months, four months. Listen, I don't care how I don't this is never gonna control me. Amen. I don't care if I fail at it, if I stumble at it, I'm pressing to war. Come on, somebody. Amen. And then you work the scripture, work the scripture. Until it start exciting you just to think about the word. Because hey, here's, here's a good scripture that I got. Oh Lord Jesus. Hebrews Latin. Let me show you. Powerful principle. Look at somebody said powerful principle. Powerful principle. See, and this is where we, the church has not been good at. We've not been good at understanding spirit, soul, and body. We attack the body, and the body really is not the one you need to attack. That's the camouflage. That's where the symptoms are. That's where the proof is. It's not the root. So you'll hang around with the symptoms all the trying to fix that and get worn out. So we try to attack the body. You don't attack the body. Then, then we, we go to another street. We want to attack the spirit. You don't need to attack the spirit. Because the spirit is perfect. And just Amen. means spirit. 1223. I made perfect. Spirit, man, never works against you. Amen. So what the only issue needs to be dealt with is the soul. Because you get the soul on the right page, that's self belief. But you got to make a lifetime commitment to it. And I'm not saying it's going to take a lifetime, but it needs that kind of commitment. Yes. Or you just only have moments of success. Moments. It must have a life. You must have a lifetime commitment. I like 
You make a decision. Choose you this day. Come on. I said before, and then let God help you manage that decision. Amen. He is your father. Yes, he is. I don't have time to talk about that. But this is going to stem in all that. I said Hebrews 11. It says, um, look at the 15th verse. Look at the 14th verse of Hebrews, and then we're going to get back into some asking questions. For they that say such things declare plainly that they seek a country. So, you know, Abraham, they left where they was at, and they saw the country. They had to now get their thoughts in line with where they were going. How do you know? Well, the next verse. It says, truly, if they had been mindful of the country from which they came out, what would have happened? They might have had opportunity. See, whenever you dominate your thought, you're going to make an opportunity to go back there. That's good. Well, let me see make it all the time. That's good. See, when you get your mind get full of that thought, you, you'll be deliberating that machination, that imagination will find a way to get back there. Mm -hmm. It'll, it'll bring up all those old feelings. Oh, y'all come on, talk to me. All those old desires when you go back there. So they understood they had to be mindful of what the Bible said, forget it. Those things that are, they don't mean that you, you, you don't remember them anymore, but you don't look back as though you lost something. Right. 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 You're happy you out of that area. Right. That I'm going, I'm seeking something new. Yes. Yes. Amen. New opportunities. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Yeah. <laughs> they had to be mindful of where they came. That's why you find out people can't break away from their past. Lonnie, what's that word? Pep, pep, oh, pep, neuro, 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 peptide. Neuro peptide. Neuro peptide. Please look that word up, y'all. See, I'm giving you some. This is this is why if, we, if I was back in that field, this was my field. You know, I was in the uh, psychological, psychosocial field for years. If I was back in that field, this is how I'd be dealing with it. I would I would deal with the church because we need to get our minds right. right? Yeah. 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 Well, forget about the world. They can't get their mind right. <laughs> they got to get saved. Amen. We're only trying to find a way to control them through some kind of moral, you know, consciousness. But they can't keep the law. You couldn't keep it. They can't keep it. But the law is not for the righteous man anyway. It's for the lawless. So be mindful of the lawless. Another word. Consider. Another word. Consider. We talked about that word last week. Anybody remember what that word means? That word is connected to what word? Meditation. Meditation. So give me a scripture that has that word consider in it. Um, consider what I say, and the Lord will give you. Understanding. Consider what I say. What I say, and the Lord will give you. Understanding. And the Lord will give you. So what is that? Second, Second Timothy two seven. So Paul is saying, that when you consider what's being said from the Word of God, who's going to give you understanding? The Lord. Oh, yo, brother, can you help me out? Give me a little understanding on that. Now, God wants to give you spiritual understanding. Amen. Yes, sir. See, when we talk about understanding, we're not talking about natural understanding. We're talking about spiritual comprehension. Mm. Do I have a scripture for that? Colossians 1 9. Yeah. Colossians 1 9 says it might feel desired you might be filled with what? All wisdom. knowledge of his will. In our wisdom, because wisdom is the ability to use knowledge. Right, right. I think you got a lot of knowledge, but they don't have no wisdom, so it's not profiting. Mm -hmm. They good, but it's not profiting you. And they hadn't tapped into the wisdom of God. 
You got the wisdom of the world, you got the wisdom of Satan, you got the wisdom of God. We're talking to the believer who should be operating from the wisdom of God. It's called wise dominion. Wise dome. See, we're in the domain that we have the wisdom of God is higher than all these concepts of us. Because it comes from a different domain. It's the wisdom that dominates. Amen. That's a whole nother thing. Then he says, all knowledge of the Lord, all wisdom, and what? Spiritual. Spiritual. So this natural understanding that the word cough, I know what the word cough means. Well, spiritual understanding, I know that cough thing comes from God. Right. <laughs> all sickness and disease comes from Satan. As a result of what? The fall. Yeah. Right. See, I have spiritual insight to where it came from mm -hmm. that I expected to happen to me. Come on, bro. You got there with me. Mm -hmm. And what's the wisdom that I. And wisdom also is the word applied. Mm -hmm. So I apply the word of God. Mm -hmm. Believing and saying what God. The life that God's given me on the inside, I access it by faith, and it overrides the law of the spirit of life. Makes me free from all sin and doubt. That's how it works. There's only two major laws in the earth: the law of the spirit of life in Christ, and the law of sin and doubt. How do you turn them on? It's your mouth. Your mouth. Deafen. Well, we get people to get that to us. We get, we got it. We, got it. we ain't getting nothing. We got it. We got it. Yes. Yes. Now, I, I, I went there to consider. Notice Hebrews 4, 3, 1 says consider, meditate. That word consider means to perceive, to observe, to understand, to consider attentively. I like this, to fix one eyes or mind upon. What would happen if you told yourself all day? Like, there's some things I do, man. I say, I tell you the thing, when I'm getting caught up, I'll spend as long as I need to spend with it till I'll get that thing where it's like operating in my thinking. I have a great high priest. I have a great high priest. I have a great high priest. He said, consider. Holy brother and partakers of the heavenly call. I have a heavenly call. Yeah. Amen. Holy brother. He called me holy too. Right. See, that's all part of meditation. Set apart. That's what holy is. Partakers of the heavenly call. Consider. Meditate. The apostle, one who was sent to plant God's government in the earth. And the high priest now who's sitting at the right hand over our profession. What's the word profession? Profession. profession. So Jesus sits over Amen. our confession. Amen. Amen. So he said you need to meditate on that. He planted you. That's right. I built my church. He planted us. We are the planning of the Lord. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. We're his government yeah. here in the earth. And you start meditating on all that that right there means. See? I pray for the Lord. That's perfection. I confess. So he watches over my word. Yeah. yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And when I say what he says, I access the power to make that good. For that to mean, oh, word of God, word of power. Consider, consider. You know, Abraham, he got what God wanted him to get because he considered not. Some things you need not to consider. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> I just, I just don't consider that. Yes. I don't consider. Consider failing, losing. I don't consider it. I give it no attention. I ignore it. 
I don't meditate on it. 4.19, the scripture says, Abraham considered not. He considered. Being, being not weak in faith, he considered not his own body. So that tells me how I could be weak in faith and I start considering the wrong thing. Yeah. Yeah. You're meditating on the opposite of what you believe in. You are not, not your faith is weak, you are weak in faith. When he was about 100 years old, he considered not his own body, nor what was going on with his wife's body. Hmm? Next verse, what, what did he do then? He staggered not at the promise of God. To unbelief. To unbelief, but was strong in faith. Giving glory to God. What, was, what made him strong in faith? He wasn't just walking around saying, Hallelujah, 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 glory to God. Thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Father, thank you, Father. He wasn't walking around just doing that. What made him strong in faith, he stopped. He took his eyes off the symptoms. Mm -hmm. He took his eyes off the situation. He right. put his eyes on what God said. Amen. Amen. That's what the 21st verses out here. Being fully persuaded. See, meditation will bring you to a fully persuaded, Amen. a state of being convinced. Amen. See, I'm at a, I'm at a, I'm at a state of being, being convinced. He was totally convinced. Amen. He saw it inside. Amen. You meditate on the wrong thing, you weaken things. Meditate on the right thing, you'll be strong in thanksgiving. Amen. Glory to God. Listen, he was convinced what he had promised he was able to perform. Hallelujah. 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 Didn't, didn't try to work for it. He believed God. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Glory to God. And he acted like he believed. Yes. We talked about this word muse. These are the words I didn't get to the Lord reminded me. The word muse. Musing is about, you can do it in song, song, you can do it in meditation, you can do it in pondering. All of that's part of music. You, you, know, you ever notice, remember, we always preach on, eh, it's just what happened. We preach, oh man, remember that woman with the issue of blood? Y'all remember that? Yeah. What, mm -hmm. Mark 5? You know, she heard about Jesus. No, she wasn't the only one Jesus that touched Jesus' garment and got healed. Right. Right. Times before, she heard about it. He did it. They touched the borders of his garment and another place in was healed. And she heard about Jesus. Bible says she heard about Jesus. What did she do when she heard about it? She meditated on it. One scripture says she said, if I could. And then another scripture says she said within herself. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's right. And kept saying it in herself. Yeah. Until this, if she had to stay where she was at, she would have never touched him. He would have never came over there. But the touch caused her to observe to do. Yes. Yeah. That got her in proximity. Oh, y'all listen to me. Where she was at. She was receptive. You know, um, Psalms 15, 4 says that those that speak the truth in their heart. That's another thing. Like right now. I'm looking at you, but I'm speaking the truth in my heart. Right I'm going over. I'm saying some stuff from the scripture right now within myself. I'm looking at you, but I'm speaking within myself. Amen. I'm saying to myself, I'm more than the country. You don't know that. Speaking the truth, see, we're walking up right, we're walking up right. And so we're walking in line with the dispensation. We in the gospel. I believe in grace and faith. I believe in the kingdom. Amen. Amen. And then it says, who work it and work it right, work it right, and work in the word. Yeah. Bible said they that are skillful in the what? Word of righteousness. Listen, and speak it the truth in his heart. Speak it the truth in his heart. And that's what she did. She kept speaking that thing in her heart until what happened? 
to opportunity. She created an opportunity. Yes, and you can imagine all that she went through, all that she done, all that she went through. And then to show out in public with that issue of blood. She was supposed to be stoned. Stone. Yeah. That's right, Pastor. Here you got Jared, J J what, Jarius, who's who's of the priesthood. He could he could have did something. He, they, he could have, they could have killed us. But it's something about meditation. You just after what you've been meditating. Mm. She just kept saying it until she was so filled up with that thought that it, it moved up. See, meditation should move you where you're supposed to be. All the people that move somewhere and don't work out, they ain't really meditating though. It was just a thought. It was it was it was the incipient, but it was never a conception. It was just a thought. And that when trouble comes. You bail out. And I'm not, you know, I'm not going to say, but did God give you that thought? I just think you didn't meditate on it long enough. I didn't think you never really let it in. When you let that thought in, it doesn't matter what comes at you. Your focus and your desire, and you have the energy to get to the goal. Amen. It won't change. Okay, all right. Praise the Lord. So, Muse <laughs> is to. Um, well, look at this. Chronicles 69. Sing unto him. Sing songs unto him. Talk ye of all his wonderful work. So we talked about meditation also deals with the musical. Uh, that's why we, you know, we, I was talking about like, and this is what, this is, you know, this is something, well, what we got? Okay, um, I wanted to ask you a question, but I already answered it for you, but I'm gonna ask you <laughs> um, Explain how meditation, um, how music, songs, praise, worship, how that also is a form of meditation. Mm -hmm. Recall, or what else? Repetition, that's a good word. But it's in a musical form. And I was telling my wife, you know, the Lord started showing me Monday why a lot of people, great singers, they put out great songs, but their life just doesn't line up with those songs, the matter of the Because they never connected those songs to the word. Like, I was worth saving. Mm -hmm. See, if I knew a saving then, instead of having a definition, it's just I'm just going to heaven. <laughs> That saving in Sazo, healing. Yes. I'm rescued. He's got a good, another good song. I'm never going back. I'm rescued. Right. Another word for being saved is rescued from danger. Mm -hmm. From 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 you relocated. You're in a different location where the God is your refuge. Okay. See, when you don't, when, and that's why you can have people singing the most greatest healing song that they sing, leading it, leading it in the country. That song really don't, they have not meditated on the song. There's no meditation on the song. They like the tune, they like the lyrics, but that's all they get. And remember, the reason why you do what you do is what you get. Mm -hmm. It has to be, you know, you know, David said in Psalms 40, watch this. He says, I waited patiently upon the Lord. And he inquired unto me, and he heard my cry, and he bought me also out of a horrible pit and out of the miry clay. And he set my foot upon a rock and established my going and then put a new song. Come on, listen. Come on, listen. Put a new song in my mouth, even the praise 
Unto what? Oh, God. Notice, he put a new song in our, my, my mouth, and he's going to praise unto who? Oh, God. Many shall hear it. Yes. No. Many shall see it. see it. So see it. Why can't we see the song? God wants what you sing and people see it. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Hey, he didn't say hear it. He didn't say see it. <laughs> hear it. See it. Because there's no meditation. And let me tell you what I learned about the Holy Spirit. He's going to do his part. He's going to give you some beautiful songs. It's up to you to study the show. It's up to you to study these to study the word. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's up to you to do that. Remember when we went to Colossians 3, 7, 16? It says, let the word of God dwell in you. Let the word of God dwell in you. Richly so you can do what? Teach. Teach. Admonish. Admonish in what? Psalms. Psalms. Where's the Psalms coming from? The word of God. Yeah. Who's inspiring the Holy Spirit? Psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs. In other words, these songs inspired from the Holy Spirit, making melody in your heart, the grace in your heart to the Lord. Grip what He's already done. These songs should be coming from what God's already done. I'm not in these songs. I'm still trying. Help me through my day, Lord. He already told you He'll be with you in your day. You don't need a song like that. Mm -hmm. So you just saying you really don't believe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I'm like, I'm the psalmist of David. Well, David was in a different dispensation. Come on. You can't come and put out the song, Lord, creating me a clean heart, renewing me the right spirit, because you're the man being Christ. You're a new <laughs> Do that. You, know? you got to get on the other side of the cross. Somebody yeah. say amen. 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 <laughs> the reason why these, these songs don't. That should just come out more powerful. When you meditate on, on, on what he's giving you, then they, they, they stick to people because you put, you spent, you've been meditating on what he told you to say. You've been meditating on the scriptures he told you to look at, and then he's giving you understanding, he's providing your understanding. When people can learn, the sweetness of lips increase learning. When people can learn, and you know, but people don't. People, you know, we just try to live off of inspiration, and, and you really don't, you really don't put yourself in it. Or you let it really get in. That's why Jesus, when Jesus was talking about the soul, we're gonna talk about that down the line on the next go round. He's talking about the soul. He's talking about meditation. How do you get the word planted in your heart? Hallelujah. Now, let me, let me just, let's just say this because then I'm going to ask you a question then we're going to stop. Um, one of the things that I looked at that I thought in Proverbs 4, we talk about the word ponder. It means to roll flat, to prepare a roll, also to revolve, to balance, to make level or smooth. The way of the just is uprightness. Um, Isaiah 26, 7. Um, Thou must, uh, the, thou most upright, do it way the path. The word do it way is ponder the path of the just. Now watch this in Proverbs 4.26. It says, and this is a good scripture, because pondering, pondering, ponder the path of your, meditate the path of thy feet, and let all thy ways be established. And God wants to establish things in our life. Well, that meditation shows us the way. See, med in meditation comes the wisdom of God to show you the way in which he wants to go, uh, the time he wants you to take off. All that comes under the wisdom of God. You see, when you start, that's why I tell people, if God started with the word, you and I got to start with the word. In the beginning was the word. Amen. God didn't start off with movement. He started off the word. <laughs> If he started with the word, you and I need to start with it. Yeah, I'm sorry. Ponder the path. It makes a way. It is God to start showing you a way. You, you spend time in that scripture he's given you. 
you know, you spend time in the scripture that you're getting from here, in the scripture that speaks, that resonates in you, the scripture that keeps serving up, that's the one, the Holy Spirit is saying, this is the one for you. If you, you give me your undivided attention just on getting this scripture in, it's going to become in, 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 in explosive, explosive, you know, it's going to explode from on the inside with, with ways in which that can happen. Amen. The timing. So in the wisdom of God, the timing is God. It's the timing. Hallelujah. 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 And that's why if you were if you were just walking around just saying something simple, just from the logo, Jesus made unto me with it. I say it all the time. When stuff comes, wisdom is already there. I've been, I've been paving a road Amen. where it can get to me. Because I got all the weeds out of my thinking. Yes. Yes. <laughs> got all the rocks. Oh, yeah. Got all the mountains out. <laughs> I ain't got to climb. Wisdom, it paves a road. Yes. But you can see the way has already been made. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Now, I'm going to close it, but I want to say this. A wonder gave me, I asked wonder to do the thing on the sheet. We'll deal with this next week. We got one more, one more week to do it. I like this subject. Amen. Amen. I think now you're seeing. Okay. What we did, we asked the question, did you, how many, how many um, got a, a scripture that you want to share real quick that we said meditation is a quiet reflection upon the word of the scripture. We'll deal with that next week. Meditation is a musical repetition. So when you're singing a song, you're meditating on the song. Amen. When you're repeating phrases, you're meditating. See, this really put me in a lot of check. I think, I think for the past three months, I might have been going through some withdrawal. Because certain things, you, I, I always tell Tim, there's three aspects of meditation. There's three aspects of sanctification. How you set yourself apart. First of all, the Spirit of God sets you apart by the new birth. You don't have spirit of the world. You have spirit which is of God. Number two is when you begin to set yourself apart through the word where the Holy Ghost can start making what happened a reality. Amen. And then number three, you start making decisions and not necessarily sin, but they really don't aid you in where you're going. Amen. Right. Amen. Oh. We'll tell you, huh? yeah, we go through that fluid point. So those are vital points. And, I, and when I talk about those moments I go through where I'm shaving things off, Laying aside every way, everything that affects my believing. Getting light of the light. Amen, amen. Getting the load off the road. <laughs> and you know, I see people guys do you can't do that physically. You can't. I seen people leave folk and go right back. Make a big announcement. <laughs> be baby. Can you let me hear one more time, please? Give one more time. Because that has to come through as your desires increase for him. Right. Then you have strength to start yeah. separating the precious from the vow. Mm -hmm. So now you can be as his mouth. Amen. Amen. We got to see people do it from the physical just to keep that one over. You work on getting filled up with truth in the soulish, mental, and emotional arena. And desires change. Trust that they have changed. And I tell you, freedom is a beautiful thing. We are all out for freedom. So that comes in meditation, required reflection, our deep devotion, prayer, study of the word. But then I talked about memorizing. And I, I use that word because I think it was the Lord told me to use that word in the sense of in his entry level. Entry, say entry level. Entry, entry level. level. To memorize it as you begin to get it in. 
So what scriptures did you, anybody want to call us? What scriptures did you have? Um, uh, Deuteronomy 8.18. And is he going to give you the power? To get wealth. So that he may? Establish his covenant. Okay. He may establish his covenant. So the second thing you want to do with that, you want to first repeat it, and then the second thing you want to personalize it. He's giving me power. So we have that's step two. What anybody else? Y'all have that? Yeah. One twenty eight. Uh which he talks about he blessed them. God blessed Shona and said unto Shona, be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue and have the name. Oh wow. Wow. And to go with that at Genesis twelve. And I will make of Shona a great nation, and I will bless her and make her name great, and she shall be a blessing. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wow. Amen. Amen. That's good. The next thing you want to do with that, after you personalize it, then you want to repeat the verse several times for emphasizing different words each time. Now you was able to bless it now. Now you have to emphasize each word in each one different times. Yes, sir, back there. You? Oh, me? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you have, you have Romans, Romans 8, um, 24 and 25. Yeah. Um, and I will bless you and multiply you. Those about the suffering? Yes. Go ahead. Um, I know what they all are. <laughs> Look, you know what's so funny? I'm telling you, you know why I'm so happy for y'all? Y'all always want, boy, you know, you ain't seen nothing yet. I'm putting this grace on all of y'all. <laughs> um, this grace is going to be on you. be waking up speaking in speaking scripture and tongues. <laughs> because you, I'm, I'm unlocking keys. Go ahead, sir. Um, for I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory that shall be revealed in me. Mm. Um, for the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of me, who is the Son of God. That's right. And then you're going to, then you're going to emphasize some other things that you can emphasize the glory. You know, just I'm going to let the Lord tell you what's going on. Okay, uh, you have one? Okay, yes, sir. Mm, so fear not. How will you how will you make that yours? Fear not, leave only the God of your hope. Alright now. Now you look up the word hope and you and then you use all those definitions when you say that. Yes, ma'am. This uh, this one I'm gonna say it and I can say my song. Jesus took my infirmities, Jesus took my weaknesses, and bore away my diseases. By the stripes of Jesus, by the stripes of Jesus, I am healed and made whole. I am healed and healed and made whole. Matthew 8, 17, and Matthew 8, 17, 4. Amen. Amen. Now you can, now you can use it by adding other scriptures that go with it. Like, First Peter two twenty four. We were healed. We've been dead in sin. Shall we live under right? You know, you let God take. But that's music. Music always. You know, the sheep has four digestive parts. Reason why I go to the sheep because Jesus used certain metaphors about us. He said we in a hundred songs. He said we are the sheep of His pastor. And then in Psalms ninety seven, He said we're the sheep of His hand. And then when you get to John 10, he says, I am the good shepherd, and you are my sheep that came through me, who is the door. And you're going to go in and out and find us. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? See, I'm still meditating. I'm just, see, that's meditation. I can just say, I'm the sheep of his pastor. But the sheep has four compartments to his digestive system. And one, one department is chewing the cud, one department. It, it's called the what is it, rumination, 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 and and then he, he regurgitates. He he keeps he he, he just keeps re, re swallowing it mm -hmm. until it becomes one with his system. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're doing right now. We're doing this. 
Let me, let me just read it and I'm gonna stop. I, promise. I just wanna read it. You know, you gotta be careful when you're to wonder if you can play you. One to send me the sheet 101. I said, uh, we, we, we got moose, giraffes, bison. Got me hungry, just read it. Listen. <laughs> We <laughs> so laugh. laugh so hard sometimes. It says the um um lot of oh, okay, all right. The process it says the storage he has a large storage space for food that is quick and our spirit is a large storage place. And our our souls will we really restore. That's why we really digest it through the soul, because the spirit is full of God. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about that a little bit. Then later, regurgitated, he consumes, and he quickly consumes, he regurgitates, he rechews, he re swallow, in a process called cud chewing. The, ru the ruma, rumination, or cud chewing occurs primarily when the animal is resting. Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> Are you resting there? Yeah. You ain't chewing if you ain't resting. <laughs> you're doing it, you're not chewing. <laughs> and not eating healthy, mature sheep will chew their cuts for several hours each day. Mm. Mature, healthy sheep. Wow, that's deep. Good day with that next week. You have something back there? You want? you have a scripture? Okay, you have one next week, right? Okay. I have one. Okay, yes. Um, Philippians 4 8. Okay. Finally, finally my brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are good report, and if there be any virtue, if there be any praise. Amen. So, how will you make that yours? You have to make it personalize it. Like, maybe not that I read it alone, but by his words, see, I'm not that. So, I'll make it mine. I said, Curtis, you did not live by read it alone. The Curtis lives by every word that I see on the mouth of God. Now, I'm going to use it. I know what the word word means. He lives by every rhema of the seeding word. See? And, and I'm going to tell you, know what the Holy Spirit does? He start making all that real. He start making all that real. You got one? I'm going But I, I think I'm gonna tell you what's good. I always tell people those things that you have, commit to them. Commit to them daily. The Bible says, give um the Bible says um give yourself wholly to them. Amen. Right? Amen. One good thing. Give yourself holy. Commit to it. And let me tell you something. You know the scripture, and I probably this is a and then I'm gonna go for real. This is a good one. The scripture says, God is at work in me what? But what what aspect of God is word is at work? See, the word will do the work. The word just there's some things that left me I didn't even know when they left. Because it leaves out the soul. Now spiritually, none of that stuff is in your spirit. Thank you. Jesus. None of it. All everything is righteousness and holy is in the spirit. Ephesians 4, 23 and 24. But it's the stuff in the soul that the word can purge out. The word is like a yeah. hammer. It breaks those images up into pieces. The word is like a fire. It'll burn up everything that's, that's, that's natural, that, you know, you know, everything, that carnal stuff, it burns it up. And fire also rep represents desire. It'll put new desires in. Mm -hmm. And that's why I'm telling people, 
there's a fast, quick word that's going to happen for them. And God's going to need us all to be in position to, to receive and help them. Well, they don't, they don't, God, they, they don't have 20 years. Amen. 30 years, 40 years. God needs stuff now. Yeah. God's time's table is now. Yes. Amen. 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 And I believe, you know, we, we, we can just use this and help train people. See, for years, I wasted a lot of time just teaching people the word. But now I'm teaching you the science of it. Right. Amen. Right. Yeah. Amen. This is where it's important. This right here speeds stuff up. Amen. 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 <laughs> That's the difference. Okay, we're going to have to stop. Good. That was good, right? Yeah.